Darren, where, where do we start with that one? Well, we didn't deserve to lose a game, but we have. And we have to find a way of stop losing games. That, I mean, some, some, on some occasions we deserve to lose, but not today. The goal we conceded is appalling, terrible. 15 seconds to go and we've let Beckford run past us and then we should just clear it. Really soft goal. Bitterly disappointed, especially given that I'd say the last 20 minutes they didn't have a sniff of the boat. It was just all us and constantly peppering their goal, but it just wouldn't find the back of the net. Yeah, I, th I felt we started the game really well. We had the best chance in the opening period where they hit the bar, but apart from that, I, I can't remember them having much. We had one or two openings, um, mainly through our hand, really. He was a real pivotal to any good attacks we had. Um, I think he just missed narrowly with a shot. So I think it was quite tight, and to lose a goal, you're going at nil nil, and you, you lose a goal, and the way we did changes their team talks, just slightly changes mine. Um, and for the first 15 minutes of the second half, they got control of the game. That was a period they had in the whole game after that. And we were, I felt dominant and we just kept pushing and pushing and we just, we didn't get the break but we have to learn a way of not losing games. We've lost far too many and uh, there is sometimes a not a bad way, to, I don't want a good draw, I'd never set up to any, in any game of football to draw as a manager but sometimes you take the draw and you move on to the next one. Uh, because if you got a draw today even when we were pushing at the end, um, you're probably still level with the playoff teams and you've taken four points out of your last two games. But instead we've lost again. You mentioned uh, only got man of the match yeah, today. How was... pleased are you with how he's, you know, he's waited for his opportunity and then when he's when he's got it, he's, he's grabbed it with both hands, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's key now in terms of I had to make sure that I get the timing right when to bring him in at the team. And, and really the, the most important thing for him is the formation we're playing. Um, with a diamond that suits him playing in that hole. He can play in the right and come in all the time as he did in the last 15, 20 minutes. But no, he's, he's been really good, really, real positive. Uh, he was again today. I, I felt there was many positives. You know, uh, I thought Harry Butterman was outstanding. The lad just come from well and I thought his attitude was magnificent. Uh, and as we spoke about, I thought Mendes Lang did well when he came on. Uh, so there was many positives, but we stand here again talking about losing a game. Yeah, I mean, we went into the game off the back of a, a good win against Dorian. You mm. only made one change. For the match, and that was bringing uh, Jermaine on for obviously Junior, who had been suspended. How do you think uh, Jermaine did in that position? I thought he did first half did really well, and, and just you know the, can't, the crowd are on him. I can hear that, which was just you know frustrating for the boy. Um, but given his age, I mean, people have got to remember that at that age. I mean, when I look back to when I was that age. Yeah, he's 18, he's a kid, but then again, if he keeps, if he's in the team, he's in there on merit. So, you know, you know listen, not, it's not fans are entitled to their opinion. I think it just, a, you know, the first 15 minutes they got control of the game and it affected him a little bit. He got caught in the ball a couple of times. But I thought first half he did well. I mean, I, I, I feel that um, Joe knew was a massive loss today. No, no disrespect to Jermaine. Obviously, unbalanced as a team. Joe's on his left foot. He's, he's probably been, for me, one of my better players in the last few games, certainly, and I think we missed him today. Their goal scorer was, uh, listen, I don't want to get you into trouble, but their goal scorer was lucky to be on the pitch, wasn't he? I think if the referee gives a free kick during that situation, he's got to book the lad, surely. I thought the referee was really poor. I thought his decisions. I thought first half, um, any tight 50 50 decisions Preston got, and the second half, I mean, the tackle on Aaron on the edge of the box, he's played on. Um, no, he was poor today, the referee. And really, you know, when someone gets booked, they open themselves up to any other bad challenge. You're probably going to be risking the fact of getting sent off. He's pushed Cosy into the stand for a start. He's got a yellow. He's he's actually one where I felt he should have been sent off. wasn't a foul. He won the ball, but the referee's given a foul. So for a late challenge, he's got no choice but to send him off. But he's he's balled it. Aaron had a fantastic opportunity yeah. to level a serpent. It, but I, I suppose the thing that Aaron and Craig are, are giving us at the moment is work effort, and you know that that shows highly, doesn't it, with those two? Yeah, well, listen, they're giving it the work ethic, but so did the other strikers. Um, they a little bit more of them do. Um, we haven't got time to wait. They need to be, you know, a little bit more of them. Yeah, I mean, the games are slipping away, really, aren't they? Especially with Craig. So it's important that, you know, for his own benefit, really, to get back into that Brighton side that he, that he performs. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, look, I've just said to the players, I know so there was one or two things, obviously, that I'll keep in the dressing room, but... We have to take the positives out of the game, there were many. I mean, if you remember our last game against Bristol, it was nowhere near like that. We kept going against a tough opponent, against a, a team that just wait for a mistake. Um, you know, that's the way they play, they're just very stubborn. Um, 
They've won seven away games and, and clips seven clean sheets, seven one nil wins, which is a good start if you want to get successful. But um, I felt we were so unlucky to lose the game. Yeah, looking at positives, I mean, Preston was such an ex experienced side. There were, you know, there, there wasn't a lot between the two sides, was there today? No. Which shows how far we've actually come as a young team. Yeah, but I think we always give, apart from Bristol, we always give teams a, a game, and uh, we've. I think always done quite well against Preston. Obviously, we got beat up there, but we were unlucky because um, the way we play and we want to get it down and pass through them. I think if you do that against them, because of the sort of team they are, you'll get joy. And when we did that, we actually did get a lot of joy. But you know, to lose the game in the manner we did with, from a throw-in is, is is shocking, really. How much time will you have off now over the Christmas period? Because the next game is obviously Boxing Day. None really. Um, I generally give them Christmas Day off, which I probably will again. It's the day before a game, you hardly do much anyway, set pieces, but we'll do that the day before. But they'll be in all the way up till then. Then obviously, uh, after Chesterfield, they're in again. And then we've got the Doncaster game. So, But look, I, I have to take the positives. We're, we're looking at getting in around the top six. We're a point off that. If we win today, we would have been in it. And the way we ended the game was solid. If we continue doing that and playing the way in some of the football I've seen, then I think our performances like that will get his results, it should have today.